Oh, we're having tonight, Mildred. Pie, mash and veg, Bill. Lovely. I'll stoke fire up. And that was a slice of Yorkshire for you, my darlings. Yeah, from the 1940s. <laughs> <laughs> Hello my loves, it's Tuesday night and once again the first night of a brand new meals vlog. We do these meals vlogs for those of you happening upon them for the first time just to show how delicious, diverse and incredibly affordable vegan food can be. Now you might remember if you watched last week's vlog I did a brinner which is a breakfast for dinner. We had vegan bacon and sausage and potato waffles, scrambled tofu and beans and tomato. And the scrambled tofu that was left over has now been mixed with mayonnaise to make tofeg mayo. Which is beautiful on sandwiches and gorgeous on a baked potato. Along with a little tub of red pepper hummus from the Sainsbury's. And on the side, just some lovely fresh wild rocket and three baby plum tomatoes. I would, I would dare to say that the uh, the tomatoes are slightly pretentious. Yeah. Slightly? Yeah. Only slightly though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that is what we're having on this Tuesday night. The first night, as I say, of a brand new meals vlog. And um, it's a slightly later dinner because uh, our Jason teaches on a Tuesday, don't you? That I do. First one this year. Back to it. Uh, guitar, you know, by the way. Yeah, oh yeah, guitar. Yeah, guitar. Over there in the corner. Do you yeah, see it? Thoroughly, Sorry. thoroughly looking forward to this. Um, it's been a while. It has been a while. Um, and have you noticed no bread and butter? It's not really needed. It's not with two great big baked potatoes, is it? But we'll probably have something later on. Yeah, we might have a snacky later. Uh, 20 minutes it pricked all over, 20 minutes in the microwave, and then 15 minutes in the air fryer on 185, and then up to 200 for the last five minutes, just so they crisp up a bit. So there you go, double baked potatoes with a little bit of a side salad, uh, homemade tofeg mayo, and Sainsbury's bought... Thomas. Marvellous. Bye, loves. Hello, my loves. It's Wednesday night, and do you know, I just fancied a burger. I said to Jay, because we've got these uh, brioche buns from um, the Veganuary selection at Aldi, which won't be there beyond January. They won't anyway. Neither will the croissants. We've talked about this in the Aldi vlog. Um, they were dated to February, but I thought, oh, do, let's just have them. So we've got one beyond burger and we've got uh, english mustard sliced tomato beyond burger mayo mustard heinz vegan mayo for the record um ketchup and uh, mixed leaves and then we've got these are new in iceland chicken style burgers bag of eight from the no meat company you know like they do those um chicken style strips and spi spicy strips well They've got these in at the moment, £2.50 for a bag of eight chicken style burgers. That one just has Via Life cream cheese on the bottom, um, Rocket, the burger, and mayo, and a little bit of ketchup, the tiniest bit of ketchup. You can barely see it. You can barely <laughs> see it. Uh, we've got some McCain fries with the ends of the tomato cut into sh strips and sprinkled on. And coleslaw that we've got left over from Saturday's mukbang because I thought, right, let's finish that off. So I've got Cholula on standby, probably for the fries. Yeah, I think. We do love a burger meal, don't we? We always have. We do, we oh. do. And our go to is usually. Oh, Lynn McCartney. Quarter pounders. Quarter pounders. Yeah, they are our go-to. But uh, when I was in Sainsbury's earlier on after work, um, the club card price on the Beyond Burgers in the chilled section, I think, is £3.50. And they're the big thick ones as well. They're not the smash burgers. That's decent for the Beyond Burgers because they're normally a bit steep in price, aren't they? Yeah, and they are tasty. They are, like, really tasty and really, really meaty. Yeah. I'm going to squash mine down a bit because I like a bit of a squished burger. There you go. That's my kind of meal there, Barbara. <laughs> um, do you want to have a taste of the chicken burger, Jay? Because they're new. 
Yeah. Um, it's supposed to have a bit of spice to them or something. Lightly spicy, it says. Lightly spicy. I don't think you'll be able to see out. Oh, you can. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's great. Thank you. Hmm. Well, first and foremost, it's a tasty burger. Yeah. But I'm not getting any spice coming through at the moment. Well, we wouldn't. If it says lightly, you can forget us sensing anything. Yeah, true. Seriously, I mean, we we eat scotch bonnets, man. But bag of eight, how much? Two fifty. Two pound fifty at the moment. That's great. That you it? can't grumble, can you? Mm -hmm. So you know we've got because we always like to do a beef style burger and a chicken style burger when we have a burger meal. That's our go to, isn't it? We'd rarely have like two beef or two chicken style. Yeah. Um, and now and again, you know, it's good to have a a meal like this. It's like uh, it's like going out to a fancy. Um, what are they called? Well, like a junk food. I, was, I suppose restaurant. you'd call them restaurants, but they're not really, are they? Like the Macadies and they call themselves restaurants. Oh, I see what you mean. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, uh, and of course, the wonderful part is that you can do your burger however you want your burger, which is exactly what we've done here. So I shall bid you farewell and see you tomorrow. Bye, loves. Hello, my loves. Oh. That player looks lovely. <laughs> <laughs> um, hello, my loves. It's Thursday night! Yay! We're very excited that it's weekend again. As most of you will know by now, Jason and I work Monday to Thursday in our uh, charity jobs. And uh, as in, we both work for charities. Yeah. Um, and so when Friday, Thursday night comes, we're like, yay, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And he wrote, remember this I got from Lidl? Medaglioni with spinach, broccoli and olives. Sounds quite lovely, doesn't it? You only have to boil it for three minutes. Well, it's there. Usually, whenever we have a kind of filled pasta like this, we don't have a sauce necessarily, do we? No, no. Just like a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil and a pre-shitted salad on the plate. I just did it straight onto the plate. And a lovely garlic bread. You can get ones like this in both Tesco and Sainsbury's. Clearly marked vegan. Um, shall we have a? Shall we have a try? I suppose, yeah. I mean, I'll cut myself a bit, and then I'll come to you, Brommers. Okay. It's too busy focusing on a beautiful plate. There we go. Okay. Right, so that's my bit to try. This is my bit. Here. You're going for a full one. Mhm. Mm Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. I immediately get broccoli. Immediately. And oh, olive. It's quite flavoursome, actually. It's nice. Mm. Yeah, I like that. I get it all. I get spinach, broccoli and olive. Actually. Definitely getting the broccoli. Well, they've got a very similar flavour, spinach and broccoli. I was going to say I'm not getting a lot of spinach, but now you've just said that, I'm kind of like, mm, yeah, that's a fair point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, lovely though. Yeah. You can't fault it. Very it's nice. nice. Uh, if you want to get any in, get to little soon, because they'll not last. Um, I'll probably just put a bit of salt and pepper on mine and have it with a lovely garlic bread and thoroughly enjoy this Thursday night feast to welcome us into the weekend. Give you another shot of that gorgeous plate. And Jason's look. Oh, delightful. Lovely. There we go. Medaglione. And salad. So what's for dinner, darlings? Bye, loves. Hello, my loves. It's Friday night and it's a very short meal segment tonight because we've already done a whopping Tesco vlog today, which I'll link up there now. Ooch. And we're live later on this very evening. So we're having leftover gardener's pie, except it's covered in gravy now. So last time I did this was last week. We had a big portion for dinner with broccoli and it was gorgeous. Saved it in the fridge ever since. Tonight we're having it with uh, freezer peas and sweet corn and just a bit of gravy. Because it sometimes gets a little bit dry when you're warming it up for the second time. Uh, my mum, Joan, had a portion as well and absolutely loved it. She always does when I make this. I did a one separate in one of our little oval pie dishes. 
Uh, Bromers has been editing like a engineer today. Got the Tesco vlog up and it's cracker. It's a belter. Isn't yeah. it? I said to Paul before, I was like, you know, with our shopping vlogs, we're, we're never really conscious or aware of the time that we're doing, you know, that we're doing. The yeah, thing. we just filmed over. And then we? we got the footage off onto the computer and it was like, it's nearly a bloody hour. <laughs> Which is brilliant for people doing Veganuary. Yeah. Um, so yeah, leftover gardener's pie, little bit of gravy, peas and sweet corn, bread and butter, jobs are good and Friday night dinner on the plate. No animals were harmed in the making of this belly hook. Mm. Bye loves. Hell, all my loves, it's Saturday night and excuse the lighting is not as good as normal. Someone didn't charge his phone light and that someone would be me. Um, we've been talking about having tofu for a couple of days because we just both love the stuff. So this is the one we got from Lidl, the soy tofu. Oh, yeah. Marinated, to, you know, soy sauce. Uh, I've done a brown rice with um, a vegan chicken stock cube and a veg stock cube. Three of the uh, spring rolls that we got from Aldi when they were selling them off for 99p. And I've done... Uh, when we went to Aldi today, they had um, Savoy cabbage for 49p, so I've done shredded Savoy cabbage, peas and tomato in a soy and chilli dressing. It's a lovely little Paul medley. It, it is. Should we have a taste of the tofu, Bromers? Yeah. And... yeah, let's give it a try. Oh my God. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that's lovely. That's tasty. That's got soy right the way through it. Yeah. And, and it's, yeah. Just, it's not too subtle. Sometimes something is like majorly subtle when it yeah. comes to tofu. It's there, it's present. I love the crispy edges as well. Yeah, it's full of flavour, that. I did it in the uh, wok and then finished it off in the air fryer. Mm. So we've got some Cholula on standby. And we've got a lovely paratha each, a plain one. Um, so yeah, there you go. It's a kind of, sort of, kind of, sort of, Chinese kind of, sort of takeaway. I'm just a second piece. It's blooming lovely. Yeah, mm. It's proper nice. Try the veg. Try the veg mix. I, I just um, fry, fried it in a little extra virgin olive oil, because that's what I used to fry. Little light soy sauce, chopped up one very thin chilli. Mm. Oh, it's lovely. It's a nice mix. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. Really nice. Oh, yeah. So that, <laughs> there we go. It's a sort of, kind of, sort of Chinese takeaway, but homemade and loads of veg. See you tomorrow. Bye, loves. Hell, all my loves, it's Sunday evening and we're having what we would call a Northern England classic. However, we've also found out over the years that many people around the world have chips or fries to some of you in a bowl with soup poured over soup and chips this particular soup happens to be southwestern style black bean soup we used to buy it in cartons from costco and it was gorgeous and then they stopped selling it so now i make it myself kirkland's wasn't it yeah 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 and it was beautiful um so basically i had let's say the equivalent of two tins of black beans but i cooked them from dry here so one tin was put in the Nutribullet with a tomato, a couple of chilies, a bit of onion, a bit of yellow pepper and some smoked paprika and blitzed. And then I started with a classic mipois, uh, onion, carrot, celery in the frying pan, in the wok. Fried them off, added the uh, soup paste the aforementioned um, and then a bit of stock about 500 mil of stock uh, I used um, chicken style stock in this case and then the rest of the black beans and I added some frozen sweet corn right at the end so it's a really good thick hearty beautiful soup do you want to have a taste of it I brothers and oh I must mention um, Sainsbury's Kalmata olive loaf, not marked vegan, vegan by ingredient, beautiful, from the fresh bakery. Yeah, the way you described it sounded beautiful, I am keen to uh, to try it. So it's got a little bit of a kick to it then as well, yeah. Well it should have, it's got two finger chilies in, in the... Um... Hmm. 
Mm. Yeah. And of course, as uh, because of what you did in terms of incorporating some of the beans into it, you've got the lovely textural component. Yeah. And sweet corn there as well. It's got a sl just a nice little bit of heat to it. Yeah. Soup and chips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Soup and chips. Homemade southwestern style black bean soup poured over chips with Kalmata olive bread. That's just how we roll on a Sunday. Bye, loves. It's Jason's Lunchtime Taste Tests. Hello, you lovely person, and this is what I have for my Lunchtime Taste Test today. Seemed only fair that I did the Aldi uh, Thai Green Curry last week, so this week it seems only fair that I do the Tesco Plant Chef Vegetable Tikka Masala and Rice, spicy and warming. Perfect for today because it was frozen this morning. I had to scrape the car and everything. I keep it short and sweet. I've already warmed it up in the microwave. 325 from Tesco's, 400 grams. This is the new one. I've tried some of the other uh, ready meals from Tesco's before. They're all pretty decent to be fair. But uh, for 325, 400 grams. Here's the nutritional info. I'm not uh, going to turn it over because I've cooked it. But what I might just do is I'll turn this over so you can have a look at this. There you go. So this is a sweet potato and cauliflower in a tikka masala sauce with green peppers and cooked long grain rice and peas. Love a rice and pea. Um, interesting observation. This one didn't require hot water to be added to... Uh, hot water. A spoon of water to be added to the rice halfway through. This is just basically put holes in it and cook it in the microwave for five and a half minutes. If you've got an 800 watt microwave. So... Let's dive in and give it the obligatory Bromers taste test. So I'm going to do what I often do. I'm going to try the rice first, I'm going to try the curry second, and then I'll try a nice little combo of the two. So rice, not sticky, not claggy, all moving around quite nicely. Sorry about the traffic noise, by the way. It's good. It's good rice. It's a little bit bland, but I suppose combined with the curry, it'll be absolutely fine. Speaking of which, sweet potato. Mmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's really nice. And that particular mouthful. I actually got a bit of cauliflower and a bit of sweet potato. Very, very nice indeed. Cannot fault that. So, of course, final little tester. It's good. Can't fault it. Value for money, 325. Quick cooking time, nice and tasty. You don't even have to worry about stopping halfway through the cooking process to add your water to the rice. So maybe give them an extra half point for that, I don't know. What am I going to score it out of 10? It is really great, it is really tasty. Um, and the sweet potatoes and cauliflower have still got a little bit of bite to them. It's not just turned to complete mush, which I know I mention a lot. I don't like stuff that just turns to mush. Texture is a very important thing. Um, you know what, I'm going to give this a 9, I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10, and also in the back of my mind there's a little bit of also, a little bit of kind of like, well done Tesco, because um, you've leaned into your own range, you're promoting your own range, you're bringing out more new stuff uh, on top of what you'd already done. Um, I don't think there's a single Tesco. I don't think there's a single supermarket uh, that's perfect, but uh, this is great. So yeah, a nine out of ten, good value. I'm gonna smash the rest of this in my face now. Um, thank you for taking the time, as always, to check out our meals vlog. There's a little bit more coming. Take care of yourselves, and I will, of course, as I always say, see you very soon. Hello my loves, it's Monday night and the last night of this particular meals vlog. Just is, that's why. <laughs> um, 
these are the no chicken pies from aldi so no guarantee how long they're going to be in for we don't know if they're a new item that will become a core item or if they're just in for veganuary like a lot of the chilled and baked stuff um mash with oodles of um flora buttery and milk and some garlic pepper some nooch and some onion salt plain old savoy cabbage nothing i'll just put a bit of salt on that and plain old julienne carrots did you use the cocoa milk or the soy milk in the mash i oh, grabbed the first one it would have been a cocoa milk then yeah right. just, i'm just i was just curious that's all um, uh, th- this is bigger than i thought it was i know well I, I was wondering if you might cut it up and so forth can have a loop of course and um, it would be rude not to it would be rude not to so there we go let's turn the plate so yeah that'd see. be nice Okay, so I mean, right. that looks like it's ample filling, doesn't it? Yeah. Give you a good look in there. I love that there's peas in there. That's decent. I mean, when do you cut a pie open and there's peas in there? <laughs> uh, are you having a taste? Yeah, I'll have a little bite. Brommers. Uh, I think I'm going to... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pull, pull a bit of that out. Get a bit of that. Okay. Just off the edge there. Careful, Barbara. Yeah, I know. I can see the steam coming off it. 2024 is going to be the year of Jason trying not to burn his mouth. Mm. Sorry, I'm making a mess of this. I'm trying to get it. Use it like a stabber, man. There we go. <laughs> Instead of a shovel. So we didn't get a pea, but it's very nice. It's very flavoursome. The pastry is lovely. And the gravy's right tasty as well, you know, the sauce. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. And the uh, the protein, it's decent. It's a good pie. Nice. Yeah. That's all you want, innit? Can't argue with that. Very simple northern dish again tonight. Pie, mash and veg. <laughs> what are we having tonight, Mildred? Pie, mash and veg, Bill. Lovely. I'll stoke fire up. <sighs> and that was a slice of Yorkshire for you, my darlings. Yeah, from the 1940s. <laughs> 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 oh, the end of another meals vlog but we'll start again tomorrow and we'll see you next Tuesday for another plethora of vegan plates <sighs> bye loves <laughs> <laughs>